Hello, it's me, your mom. Good morning. Today, uh, we have to do some plant chores. Yeah, we have to do some plant chores. Also, this video is sponsored by Flexi Spot. More on them later. I've been bottom watering my plants all day. Let me show them to you. There's my plants. They've been bottom watered like all day. They're still not where I need them to be. Like they still need more, so. They're still there. Hello, good morning. Welcome to my house. We're gonna do some stuff today. I need to take some propagations and also I'm gonna show you some plant updates, like growth updates, you know, whatever I feel like doing, right? First of all, I took these accidental propagations of one of my Hoya Carnosa Compacta Vergata. So I thought we could make a prop box or something or maybe just put them in water with some liquid art and then, um, I thought we could take some more propagations of stuff. I have a lot of stuff. I don't know. It's kind of like what I feel like doing, I guess. But here today, it's like 60 degrees and super sunny out. And so I kind of want to take some propagations. Like I'm wearing a tank top. I never wear tank tops. I've been living in hoodies all winter, but it just kind of feels like spring. I haven't decided what we're going to put the cuttings in yet. So stay tuned. So our node is right here, and then we do actually have a little aerial root, this thing. Uh, and then this is our little top thing. I always forget what it's called, the growth point. Leaf will grow out of this, and our roots will start with this aerial point. And then uh, you need a node when you do take cuttings of plants, otherwise they're not gonna grow. It's definitely a winter day, but it feels like spring, so I can say it's spring, right? It's spring. Um, I wanna take some cuttings of my global green pothos which just kind of looks like a green pothos in the light, but he's growing from so many different places. Take a cutting from here. We're gonna cut under the node, like that. Oh, cute little cutting. Oh, I got it. This one. Let's take, well, actually, no, I don't wanna cut this. Um, a lot of people like to cut their syndapsis, which is this plant I have right here. This is my syndapsis exotica, but they take so long to root, I really don't wanna worry about it. Let's do a spider plant. We'll cut this one off. Little spider plant, baby. See all the roots? Stick that right in water, he'll heckin' go. My plants are quaking with fear right now. I'm just like walking around, cutting everything. There's a lot of these like really long dangly pieces. I think I'm just gonna like trim it. Whoops. All right, I got these. These ones. Okay, now that we've taken all of our cuttings, which are uh, all of these, we need to put them in stuff. I recently moved my office into my living room because I wasn't feeling inspired in my office. I found that I was just making less content. In the winter, it got so dark in my office, which is on the other side of the house. It has one north facing window and it was cute like at first have like an office, but then I realized like, I just want to be out in the space where literally all my plants are. And I get to have, I don't know, this is just so much better for me. Like the sun is always out. I got five bright south facing windows. It's such a good time. And I recently put my desk out here, but I actually got a new desk. The desk I got is called the FlexiSpot Komar All-in-One Standing Desk EW8. And it is so good. Like you probably heard me say it's a standing desk. And so it literally goes up and down. I have these two settings, one for when I'm sitting down and one for when I'm standing up. And I just press this one button and it just goes up and down. A lot of the times I like to stand like a flamingo and I am literally standing like that right now. And I also like to just like move a lot. I don't like to sit because I need to feel like, like I need to put my feet up on stuff. And so my friend recently got a standing desk and I was like, shoot, that looks really dope. So when Flexi Spot messaged me and they were like, 
boy do we have a thing for you i was like <laughs> literally bet and it came and i was honestly a little like skeptical because i was like honestly with ads it's like it's either really good or it's really bad and i can definitely say this is probably one of if not the coolest sponsors i've ever had a total of five minutes to put together it comes pre-assembled there's three instructions to set up the desk the first one is screw in it comes with eight total screws i think maybe 12 but literally it's so few screws and it's like screw these in with an allen wrench and then the next thing is put the feet on with the allen wrench that's step two and then step three is just plug in the desk it was so fast and it looks so cute in my space. I got the maple top because I thought it would just look really nice and not just like all this white. So it has like the whiteness that matches my actual computer box and all of my furniture. And then in the maple top, which matches my other furniture that I have out here. And it just looks really nice and I really like it a lot. Thank you so much FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video and I hope you guys go check them out and get yourself a standing desk. Now that my props are in water, we're gonna come back tomorrow and we're gonna get them all situated in some actual prop situations. And I think we will also water some more plants tomorrow because I'm currently bottom watering my plants over there on the kitchen island and I'm gonna need to put them away and uh, we'll, I'll see you in literally a split second. Okay, it's been a few days, okay? I had the absolute luck of coming down with a super bad allergic reaction to the outdoors, which is so unfortunate, but it is something that's been happening to me since high school. I had to go buy some allergy medicine, and if I don't take it, I kind of cease to exist. I literally just spent the last five, it's been five days, I think. It might have been four days since we last saw each other. I just had, I had stuff everywhere and it didn't look, it didn't look, you know. I wanted to show you, I started making boba from home. It's not that good yet. I'm working on it like any hobby, it takes practice, but I, I haven't quite figured it out yet. So it looks cute, but that's like all there is to I just wanted to show you. How cute, I'm gonna save so much money once. I learned how to make it as good as the place makes it that I live by. Okay, so the last thing I showed you was my desk. And also I know the washing machine is going, you're gonna have to deal with it, I live here. So the last time I showed this to you, I had been using it for two days. Now I've been using it for over a week. Okay, and it is so freaking cute. I know there's like stuff everywhere because I sit at the desk. I use it a lot. There's allergy, empty allergy medicine, Benadryl things on the floor. But like, it is so cute. I still have all the propagations. I've been watching them very carefully. They say to show you like sitting upright in the desk so that it shows like the desk, you know, with the best posture. But I don't like to sit at my desk upright. So if you're like me, Okay, and you like to chill at your desk because you spend like all your time out. I sit like this, usually at first. Other times, I sit like this, okay? Um, but most of the time, I sit like this. Genuinely, I'm just like hunched over at the desk like this. Okay, this is what real, this is how I edit my videos. I like to hunch up and get really small. So many various sitting positions. Sometimes the desk is too low. So I just raise it. And then if I wanna sit back down or like slouch, now it's like way too high, right? This is the coolest sponsor I've ever had. Anyways, thank you so much to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys didn't mind the little bit longer of an ad, but your girl has to pay those bills because YouTube in January, they don't pay the bills. You're probably wondering, Ashley, actually you might not be wondering, but Ashley, how do I bottom water plants, okay? This was something I stressed about a lot when I wanted to start bottom watering my plants. I'm like, how long, how long do I let sit the plants in the water, right? Well, I have an answer for you now. The answer is as long as it takes, okay? I have, ne I neglected my plants so poorly when it came to watering. I literally had them sit in the bin for three days and that's how long it took my Hoya Carnosa Compacta to not be crinkly anymore. Now it looks like 
it looks like it's so healthy and happy, but it took three days of sitting in liquid or in water. Others of them were done faster. My begonia, freshly watered. This took a day. Actually, it took like five hours, but the other ones, it took a long time. Here's my variegated string of hearts. Okay. This took three and a half days, longer than the Hoya kernels compacted a plump back up. So everyone's always like, how long? How long do you leave plants in the water? And it's like, I, I know now because I've done it. Um, sometimes three days. Okay. That's just, that's just what it takes sometimes. It looks so pretty. However, one thing that does concern me is this Mauna Loa didn't plump back up. So like all of all of everything else on this Mauna Loa plumped up, except for this one strand. So that tells me either it's having some like root, like some root loss because the roots didn't soak up stuff or it just needs to be repotted. I might end up repotting this soon. I don't have a new pot for it right now. So we'll just keep watching it, but um, it, everything else is healthy. It's like growing. See, you got the new little hands coming out. The hands are being thrown. Kind of vibing with how it looks in the cute cup. The cup is very cute. So I, I might just... We took the props. They're here. I do have other props I want to take. Like my philodendron glorious, I want to cut, and also my mame is getting pretty big. But also, I don't want to cut them because I never grow my plants big and they're like getting big. Like, they actually look nice. We did have a casualty. Um, I was hanging up my plants to dry after the bottom watering, and they all fell. And I've left them on the floor for two days. Sometimes, being a plant parent who struggles with having the motivation to do anything is that it just looks like that. They're ha they're fine. They've been watered. They've been getting a ton of light. Like this vine broke right here. Uh, for this guy. Also the whole pot. Nice. It's okay though. He's fine. Plants will grow in like whatever they have. And How pretty! I have to put the plants back up though. It looks so barren for a few days now. This guy also, he is a strand that like doesn't want to get watered and I don't know what to do about it. So I'm not doing anything about it. Here's my micans. I know you guys are always worried about them because I perpetually harm them, but um, he actually looks pretty good right now. He's coming out of recovery, I would say very nicely. New leaves look great. He needs to be watered. If you've never seen a droopy monstera, this is what a droopy monstera looks like. Need some water for sure. Peace Lily, drooping, very droopy. But um, the hecking sweet potatoes are growing roots, which is so awesome. And this guy is gonna get thrown away. My mother-in-law gave this plant to me and I've had it for a minute, but I was sitting at my desk and I realized it's like actually covered in mealybugs, like all over and I don't know how long I've checked all the other plants around it already, and there were no other plants that had mealybugs. It's just this one. And they're actually all over, so we're throwing this way. Blonde. All right, let's take a look at the grow babies. So here's the Ilsamonii that I told you guys about, putting out its new growth. Very exciting. It already looks variegated. And here's the Ilsamonii new leaf. Variegated and nice. The Biliatia node is right there, chilling. And the Ilsamonii I sold is budding in, which is very also exciting. Florida Beauty gave us a new Florida Beauty baby leaf. Arstenianum Spapru variegata is looking very nice. The other one is also looking very nice. The freaking uh, strawberry shake I have is looking very good. This has spider mites. This is what spider mites look like. I don't know why they aren't on literally any of my other plants, but they're on this one. And so we have to take care of that. They're actually all over it. But um, yeah, that's spider mite damage. Pepperomia I bought from one of my channel members. This dude randomly put out a green leaf. Literally, it's like my most variegated. Um, one of those ever, Heteracium variegata. It's been going wild, and then all of a sudden it said, psych, 
Here's green. I know you're all so invested in the hecking baby shake. It's doing very well. All my Hoya down here are doing very, very well. Including my philodendron. Like this freaking glorious is huge. This is the one that I think Brooke and I did a trade for. It's like actually massive. The begonias that have done well are doing well and the ones that have struggled are getting worse. Glorious or Gloriosum is giving me a new leaf back there. The Glorious is giving me a new leaf. Everything's looking up. This does need more humidity though, so we're gonna water the plants in here. Here's the micans. I actually cut it to give to a local plant shop owner that I love. My Magnificum is coming back in. Nice. Um, I'm rehabbing my poppy because I burnt it to a crisp. I feel like I can actually manage the amount of plants I have in here now. I know it looks like a lot still, but like I know every single plant that I have in here, which is pretty cool. Well, you guys, thank you so much for watching my pretty long video about me taking care of my plants. Thank you so much, Flexi Spot, for sponsoring this video. Again, you guys can check out the desk link at the link in the description. It will be the absolute first link in the description. And thank you so much, Flexi Desk, for sponsoring this video and helping me keep my space looking really clean and fresh and modern and thank you all of you for watching this video liking subscribing and becoming channel members we got a ton of new channel members this week thank you so much everyone for joining and other than that i'll see you guys in the next house plant section don't forget to check out my instagram as well it's at plant me ashley everywhere